Easter is the third largest holiday when it comes to mm. wine. So today we are talking the best wines to pair with your Easter and Passover meals. Liz Barrett, wine educator and writer, joins us now with a few of her top picks. Liz, thanks so much for Hi, being with thanks us. thanks for having me. I'm so happy to come and share these wines with you. Yeah, well, so let's get started because I don't remember what traditional other than ham, part right. of the meals. Are. So, <laughs> right, right, right. so what are we pair, pairing with this specifically? Right. So we've got two um, fantastic wines for Easter, and then okay. we have two kosher wines mm. that would be awesome for Passover. Okay, fantastic. So the first one that we're going to taste is uh, Yolumba is the brand. Okay. It's from Ooh. South Australia. Okay. And if you guys want to take that glass, it is Viognier. Mm. Which Viognier. a lot of people are like, Vion what? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's me. a French grape. <laughs> um, it's very, oh. that wine is like, just like a fruit basket in a glass mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. And it's just it like so sunshiny and springy. Yeah. I would put that with roast chicken. I would put that with ham. Okay. I think something salty would go really well mm -hmm. with it. Um, and if you're going like, you know, rogue, you could, I think that wine would also be great with Thai food. Ah, um, maybe yes. the sweetest yeah. right, to sweet cut the, the heat. Spice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got okay. like the fruit, it would cut the spice. I think that's like a fantastic choice. And I love that these uh, most Australian wines are screw caps. Yeah, very oh, juicy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very juicy. juicy and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Yolamba mm -hmm. is the winery that really pioneered the growing of that grape Viognier okay. in Australia. They've been doing it since 1980. And I think you can find that wine at Binnie's. And it's like $14. Oh, oh great. Perfect. Super, it's what I call affordelicious. Yeah. Okay, and then a red? A red. We have a Pinot Noir from France. Okay. It's in the Languedoc region. The brand mm. is called Fat Bastard. I, I yes. remember when they first came out. <laughs> mm. I remember first launch this. It's a great name and the name comes from the one of the winery's co-founders when they were tasting through the different blends. Mm. He tasted this one and he's like that is a fat bastard because it's very like <laughs> yes. sort of full bodied mm -hmm. and plush mm -hmm. and you know it's a Pinot Noir which is tends to be lighter bodied but right. that would be amazing also with any kind of pork, roast pork, yeah. ham, sausage, anything like Liz, that. It kind of coats the inside of your mouth yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got amazing texture to it mm. and that also $14 Oh. And you can find that at Happy Foods and Hops and Spirits up in Rogers Park. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, these two are very cool wines. These yes. are very cool wines, exactly. They're these kosher the wines. Mm -hmm. And just to, the thing to be kosher is that all the ingredients have to be kosher, which means blessed or overseen by a rabbi. Right. And they have to be made by observant Jewish people who right. observe the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So this white... Um, you can get this at Glans, House of Glans, down in Old Town. It's $19. And it's Reconati is the brand. Ooh. And it's their Yasmin White. And it's from Israel. Oh, it's from Galilee, Israel. Mm -hmm. okay. It is 60% Chardonnay, 40% Sauvignon Blanc, which is a very interesting, mm. unusual yeah. brand. I'm yeah. not usually a Sauv person, but the Chardonnay kind of like yeah. makes it Have so. a sip. See what you think mm. about that. I actually love being invited to Passover. Mm -hmm. I like to go to Easter dinner somewhere and then also doing Passover. Ooh. There you go. the best of both. That's world. really yeah. good. Mm. Isn't I that like fun? that. That's really fun. Yeah. I would say this is my fave. I, I'm kind of with you yeah. on that one. It's amazing. Yeah. And I can, I mean, that would be fantastic mm. with like a potato latke, mm -hmm. um, yeah. any kind of like spring vegetables. Mm. Again, that's a good, that's a good friend that. to roasted chicken mm -hmm. um, as well. And then this fourth wine, I love mm. the story behind this. It's called Ala Vida and it's from Argentina. So it is a kosher wine from Argentina. I'm sure you're familiar with the Hebrew toast where everybody says l'chaim, yes. mm -hmm. which yes. means to life in Spanish. Ala Vida is to life. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cute. This is the first vintage of this wine from Domaine Bousquet, which you might know in Mendoza, mm -hmm. Argentina. And the winery had to engage a double team. They had to have a Jewish team that was overseen by a rabbi for everything from destemming mm. the grapes to, and that's the winemaker, amazing. who's not Jewish, had to just stand by and direct them. He could not taste the wine along the way because that would interfere with its kosherness. And at the end, the rabbi who was overseeing it said it was the best kosher wine he'd ever tasted. Really? Wow. wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about nerve wracking, not being able to right? taste. I know. I know. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and what would something like this, what would you serve it with? This wine, oh my gosh, brisket, brisket, brisket okay. all day long. Oh. Right? Love a good brisket. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can taste the red in it, but it's not that deep, overpowering mm -hmm. red. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's got, it's I think lighter. It's a little bit lighter. It's got that black and red fruit though. Mm -hmm. I think even with like a chocolate babka for dessert, mm. this would sing with 
with a chocolate mm. dessert as uh, well. These are great. Yeah. These have been really fun. Absolutely. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. There we go. Thank you so much, Liz. You're, You're so awesome. welcome. Yeah. What a I love today. that you picked really affordable wines, too. Yes. And it doesn't That's, have to be daunting, right? Bringing a wine as a hostess gift? Ex no, exactly. And I, you know, I think mm -hmm. you can find so many amazing wines that are $20 and under. And I mean, you can even find, you know, 15 those those two yeah, um, Easter wines. Yeah, Fantastic. exactly. And they're really good quality. So well, what's in that bottle.com is Liz's website if you'd like some more information or some more some suggestions. Thank you so much for joining us. You're so welcome. We appreciate it. All right.